Tom Ford is the latest winner. On table five, he's beaten Ashley Carty 4-2. Leicester players have done pretty well in general. Joe O'Connor won, Ben Wollaston, now Tom Ford. This man, of course, not him, Mark Selby. He's Leicester's finest son, the snooker sense. Trying to get himself through as well. Good effort there, actually. He tried to pop the red off the other red, and he knew that he couldn't do any damage. That was worth a go. He literally had nothing to lose on that. Anonymous, Mark Selby for. Well, he gave that one an extra and uh, ended up queuing it quite delightfully. He stopped playing well a little bit. You know, he played great in the first two frames, won them both in single visits, but since then it's been a different story. Very different. That's what's slowed this match down is just that one frame of 45 minutes in duration. It would be very. You know, so, didn't win this frame. The other match would be quite late on. It's halfway through frame three where things changed. As Neil said, he won the first two frames quickly. He was in, he got the reds open, just played a bad positional shot, left himself severely hampered, still tried to pot a red, but it all turned round. McGill made 74 from that. And then we had the, the lengthy frame, and now McGill's made a century. So Selby was sailing towards 3-0, but like so many matches he seems to play, it's ended up close. Not to say he still won't win, but it's taken longer than it could have done. expect him to miss that and uh, I'm, I'm saying I think he's left it on it actually might be quite a thin cut back in he was concerned about 
position, but in all honesty, that never threatened the pocket. It was always a little bit dangerous playing it at that pace, but he wanted to just glide off the side of the bunch there. But he just didn't hit the red half ball, otherwise he could have been a beautiful shot. Anthony McGill one. Well, that's not a good shot, actually, because he's let Selby get his hand on the table. He's got a red to go at. And if he gets it, he'll be off the cushion onto the black, presumably. He's not playing it. Oh. Maybe the positional side was not there. So that would be fair enough, I guess. A bit of applause there. I think it was for Martin Gould, who just levelled up 3 3 with Chang Ander, won a close sixth frame. The winner of that one plays Mark Williams tomorrow evening. Just to reiterate, we'll be on air at 10 o'clock UK time in the morning for Jack Lazowski, Marco Fu. So that's a, an interesting one to start. Jack was 3-1 down last night in his match. And he won the last three frames in about 23 minutes combined. Well, I'm not sure what he played. Not left an easy starter. Have a go at this. A real difficult queuing shot. Dead straight. Got near it. Unlucky.
Elliot Slesser, the latest winner on table six, is beating Alex Taubman 4 2. Slesser beat Ronnie O'Sullivan twice last season. Well, the keyboard's run on into a of decent place. He has left a possibility of one red, I thought, at range. So they'll be. I don't know how confident he is at long range at the moment. It's Mr. Covell. This is another one that will test him. One. I think it helped that he had a little gap that he could get through and head up the table. And that kiss will definitely help him. Just to say on the Eurosport player that uh, Mark Davis and Joe Perry have started their match, and so that's live now, just kicking off. Good friends, those two, a lot of experience in that match. Well, that shot makes me think that we might be at the point where the match is Nine. soon to conclude because Mark Selby has really opened things up there. If all this red through and get the black back on his spot, he could well and truly be in business. I think when you're in amongst them on these tables okay. this week, you would fancy most of the players to score quite heavily. Pockets not not tight. Well, it just feels like one 25. final push towards the line is needed. He's 40 in front. He's turned into a longer evening than looked likely early on when he went 2-0 up in 24 minutes. It's nice lean in the third. It all turned round with that one poor positional shot. This man started to find some form. He made a century in frame five to raise the stakes a bit higher. But Mark Selby remains very, very hard to beat. And he's just looking to close this out now, get himself into the second round. 33. And it, for McGill, it would be a sixth straight defeat in a ranking event. Stretching back to the first Home Nations event, the English Open in Crawley. That was last October. 34. Forty-one. 
42. Well, the red closest to the pink, he's looked at to the left corner. See if it goes. But he doesn't have to worry about it because he needs to get on them into the opposite corner. The one that he just put the pink into, and the next one is frame ball. Had that little nudge okay. earlier in the break when he got the reds opened up. And he felt that it could well be the end of match because it was such a key shot. And everything seemed easy for... 50 60 points that's proved to be the case if you look at the breaks he's made tonight you it wouldn't be any doubt that he's played well there was a more than a flat spot in the middle of the match where he wasn't playing well but in general the breaks have flowed yeah i think arguably the best break he made was in that fourth one he made 61 but that came after 40 minutes 56. almost of real slog all the balls are awkward he managed to get the black into play and that just seemed to get his rhythm back again sat out the century from mcgill but this has been excellent to win it and that's really ultimately all that matters he's won he's going to be in the second round 63 64 mark selby just puts so much effort in to every match he plays The record suggests that he thrives more in the longer frame tournaments. 71. But he's looking for another title. Who's to say it won't come this 72. week? In this tournament where he won his first ranking event 11 years ago now in 2008. 79. <laughs> well, he's, he's caught the middle pocket knuckle. That's finished lovely. <laughs> still a good pot. Oh, and then he misses the pink. 